Uh, as Lena and John have been speaking to us, um, what we're doing here in these days together will build on the work you started last year and continue to build on that basis. It's not something different and going in a different direction. It is expanding the work further. And what we particularly want to do is to, to discuss together and give you support and uh, additional resources to work with back in your schools to actually look at teacher practice so that we can get, we're including theory and it's research-based information, but we do want that change of practice in classrooms. So we're looking at that component as we go through. Um, our aim is to continue to build on the AIZ work in literacy that you commenced last year and to focus on further developing teacher capacity in literacy through the use of data, the development of professional learning teams and focusing on research-based practice. The work with Patrick will take us through data and also work with you to help you get ideas for how you can build your team back at school and work with the team. And what we do in these sessions will be practical ideas so that the two come together. Uh, can I have an indication of anybody who is a new learning leader this year? Yep, okay. I know in last week's session there were some people thinking, oh, I'm not sure, um, I feel like I'm coming in and halfway through. But don't worry because there will be a little bit of backtracking for you, but it will become self-evident as we go through. My advice would be though to go back and just browse through the information that was provided last year in the professional learning sessions, but it will all still make sense for you. And um, on that note, I'm quite happy to take any questions as we go through. And we've structured our program together so that there's time where I'll be up here talking, but time for you to discuss at your tables. There'll be readings at your tables as well and discussion time, etc., so that it's in quite interactive and that will support you as well as we, those people who are new to the role. Um, and I'm quite happy if, you, if we're talking about something that resonates with you and you can give an example or that uh, you have some comment to add to us, that would be a good thing to do and we encourage that because we're all here learning and working together as a team. Um, we're going to start off with some time for you at tables to talk about what does an effective teacher do or what does an effective teacher need to know about. I saw some eyes roll back there. Ah. <laughs> So just a few minutes please at your table talking about that and then we'll get some information for up the front here. What does an effective teacher do? Oh, I see people writing things down. Some of the support that you will get, I will give you a lot of handouts across the day so that when you go back to your workplace, if they're going to be useful for you in your team to create discussion or to help make points, etc., you'll have those handouts. You'll also get a hard copy of the uh, PowerPoint. I just don't want you to have it quite yet, so I'm going to give you a hard copy. Also, the actual PowerPoint itself will eventually be up on the website. So you will want to take notes, but don't feel you have to write everything down because that support is there for you. Okay, what makes, what does an effective teacher do? Discussion time. We'll get some feedback from across the room. What sorts of things did you talk about? What does an effective teacher do? What sorts of things did you talk about? Silence. <laughs> I know there's some really interesting points here. Do, that we're, among, we're among friends. There's no right and wrong. And this is a, a professional discussion. So feel free. They can engage kids. Yes. Know how to engage. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Other things you talked about? <laughs> yes. <laughs> A flexible and in-depth knowledge of <laughs> so many things. In our case, what we are con particularly talking about here in our first few weeks together is really we're talking about reading comprehension because your work last year around the, the high reliabilities really was work around comprehension. So we're particularly going to be focusing on that. But yes, a flexible and in-depth knowledge is a really important point. I Sandra? Think we'll be talking 
ideal, the, the reality of society um, mm. making 